Hello, Giants fans. Uh, this is Sean. Sean talking Giants football because, of course, we're pride and passionate about the team. What's going on, everybody? So uh, tonight, the Giants lost 17 to 23 to the Philadelphia Eagles. One of the most disappointing losses I've seen in a while from the Giants. Um, first off, uh, in the first half. The Giants started moving the ball really well, especially like the way Eli was uh, getting Darius Slayton the ball. Darius Slayton in the first half had five catches for 154 yards, which was really good. He was averaging 30.8 yards uh, catch, catch and yeah. also had two touchdowns, two really good touchdowns. So uh, on the offensive side, the ball was moving really good in the first half, really good. The defense in the first half also started off really good. Uh, it was. It was, yeah. it was playing well. Uh, DeAndre Baker, I believe, had three pass breakups in the first half. Julian Love looks like he could be that free safety for the Giants next season to pair along with Jabril Peppers. Playing well. And, uh, yeah, uh, on the – in the uh, – also Sam Beal – wasn't he playing was, too great, but he was playing pretty decent in the first half. He's learning on the job. Yeah. Um, the linebackers, really iffy. Ogletree, yeah, he's, not, tough night. he's had a tough night again, as always. Yeah, Pat, Mayo, uh, David yeah. Mayo, you know, uh, first half, Giants did really good. Score was 17-3 at halftime. Eli Manning, as his first game back, I thought he really did pretty decent. Made it wasn't really the best game, but he did make some great yeah, throws. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, so like we were saying, um, no disappointing loss. Was this nine, ten in a row for us? Not good. Not good for Pat Sherman and his staff. Not good for Dave Gettleman, as you can see. Uh, the rain, the rain was a factor. Mm -hmm. It was you know in the game, you know the wet balls and stuff. But they were still making plays out there. Uh, the defense, they played well. They was on the field too long, so they got tired. So when your defense gets tired, you're gonna see mistakes happening out there, folks. Uh, in coverage, missed tackles and stuff like that. The offense was moving the ball well. Saquon Barkley was making plays, as you know, Slayton. We didn't get the ball much to Golden Tate. Uh, could have been the type of coverages mm -hmm. that the uh, Philadelphia Eagles were in. But I had that feeling in the back of my mind, if the Giants are going to keep scoring, we know the Philadelphia Eagles are going to come back because that hunger from them, the crowd, um, you know, they, it's it's you know mm -hmm. it's an emergency situation for them because they want to win the game so they can get, get more games won so they can make that playoff run. You know what I mean? They want to win a division. They got the Dallas Cowboys coming up, so... Uh, another like disappointing loss, and then uh, Pat Sherman not making good uh, coaching decisions in, uh, near the end of the game. As usual. Yeah, and also one thing the Giants did do good in the first half, there was five drives that the Giants had forced the Eagles to punt, which is one thing to point out. But as we moved to the second half, um, it, I, this was like one of the worst halves the Giants had played. Um, Nate Solder, if you guys didn't watch during the game, was getting torched the whole game. I mean, I know Eli Manning isn't the greatest athlete in the like getting out of the pocket, but for Nate Solder, it's like the guy. I don't know if is I don't know what it is. The guy really can't block. They and Pat Shermer as a head coach should have put an extra guy out there to help yeah, Nate Solder block. I mean, awesome. you know he has an issue and. To fix that issue, you have to put extra protection out there. Even if you have to put Barkley on the left side as well, you have to help that guy. I know there's problems going on, like with ev like even on the right side with Rimmers too. But you, the main spot, man, we paying this guy all, like twenty something million dollars just to. I mean, you just your blind side. You gotta help, man. And what? And he had one crucial uh, play. On that flea flicker to uh, that Barkley and yeah, uh, Eli, and wanted, yeah, I know. mean, he got burnt on the flea flicker. Golden Tate, if you look, he's wide open down the field. They showed it on the clip. He's wide open down the field. I mean, it's it's just little things like that just stopping the Giants on this offensive side to keep scoring. And yeah, yeah, working. there was some breakdowns uh, over the center position, even like in the beginning. And I'm a 
huge fan of Will Hernandez, but he missed the play mm -hmm. when they got in Alapio. there and, uh, and made a sack in Alapio. The line didn't block as well as they should have. I mean, they did okay, but once again, Nate Soldier, a, a high-priced left tackle, he's a nice guy, but he's not getting the job done. And uh, as we go into the offseason, the Giants are going to have to have some real heavy decisions to make about that because you can't have your your quarterback getting killed by your blind, you know, on the blind side by your left tackle. You, I mean, you got to protect the quarterback there. Yeah, and then uh, also for the Giants in the second half, or in the first half, they had, uh, I believe it was, prob I think it was Marcus Golden. He had one sack. O'Shea had two in the second yeah, half, I believe. Yeah, X-Man. X-Man, he's balling. I like yeah, X-Man. I sets. think right he's now the X-Man should be starting over Lorenzo Carter. Lorenzo Carter and also Leonard Williams have not been doing the job. I mean, if you look. Well, some of it could be Yeah, too. it could, but Leonard Williams said, he I mean. He make some plays there, I, anyway. Yeah, I don't see the giant. I mean, the, Dave Gettleman knows he made a mistake giving up a third and a fifth round. Those are two quality round draft picks because, as you know, Darius Slayton the was fifth a fifth round good. draft yeah, pick no. because, not the third. Uh, you know, this it doesn't make any sense to me. Then they're not even going to give him a contract after the season. You know, he's probably going to test free agency. So, you know, we have – the Giants, they have to solidify that pass rush position. It has to be there because this secondary is a young secondary. They need the, as much help as they can. And – have, not having a pass rush isn't going to help, you know. You can't just have the guys running all day, you know. Even in the beginning of the season, remember Janoris Jenkins at, after the game, he said, "I, you know, we can't be – we have to get a pass rush. It has to be solidified, man, because if you look at all the great teams – whether it's uh, you know even the Patriots, no, the Ravens, pass rush, yeah, they the, got Ravens. Some, the Ravens have some type of you know pass you got to have a we pass know the rush. 49ers even the Forty Niners. I think they have the best pass rush yeah. in football right now. Like, San Francisco Forty Niners. You got to got to have the that pass rush. Good pass rush too. Yeah. Um, so like Sean was saying, pass rush. This is a couple other things I wanted to talk about. You know, Eli came out spirited. I think he played pretty good in the second half. Uh, in the first half, excuse me, the second half. Uh, yeah. Not as good flowing with the offense as it could have been with some of the play calls or just not used to being out there in weeks, mm -hmm. right? So that probably could have been a factor, once again, a weather too. And Philly always has a good pass rush, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, those could have been some of the factors too, you know. But um, the second half, I just, I, there was no flow with the offense. Mm -hmm. We got to get Saquon Barkley the ball and space. Yeah. Now we, he was making some good runs. Uh, there was a holding penalty. He had what? Uh, mm -hmm. It was like a 30, 40 yard run. And yeah, it's a hold. I, I don't. I don't remember who and that it was. That was a crucial play. Yeah. And uh, they called it back. But um, you know, the, you know, first half the offense was mm -hmm. flowing good. Second half, it was kind of stale. You know, we got to be more creative with plays. Yeah, and Saquon Barkley, he he had seventeen carries, sixty six yards. I, in my opinion, Saquon Barkley should be getting the ball at least 20 to 25 times a game, rushing wide. I mean, the guy is that explosive of a weapon. Yeah, he can hit a home but, run. And, yeah, he's he's a home run hitter. One play, and he's gone. You know, and the thing is, one thing I also want the Giants to change is the screen plays. You can't run a screen, a uh, tight end screen pass with, a, like, Caden Smith's a rookie. He's not Evan Ingram. He's a great. Don't get me wrong. He's a, a great a young up tight end. He's not Evan Ingram. And also, I think even with the screenplay they ran with Barkley, none, none of the offensive line were even blocking for him on the screenplay. I mean, the screens they need to fix something with that, or they need to come up with some different concept because it's not working. You know, they and then uh, uh, also on the defensive side. Antoine Bethea is probably his best game yet. He had 10 tackles, three assisted. Uh, you know, he did, he played as much as I don't really like the signing. He had a pretty good, decent game today. Yeah, Julian Love was in there. And, and I, yeah. He's learning. There. Yeah. Julian Love, like Zimenez, like DeAndre Baker, like Sam Bill, it's all on-the-job training and mm -hmm. learning right now. So yeah. the more reps they get, they get 
the better they get. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the, the defensive scheme. I wish we was running a 4 3. Because mm -hmm. um, that, would, that would really help the DBs because they need they need to get the defensive linemen need to get a pass rush. So hopefully, going into next year, the Giants will change to a 4 3. I think that's a better yeah. defense for the players that they have. Yeah, because if you look at this Giants team, it's going to be built around Julian Love, DeAndre Baker. Uh, it's all awesome. Sam Bill, uh, Sam B Sam Bill, uh, O'Shane Zimenez, Dexter Lawrence, well, you yeah, know, Ryan Conley. It, Dexter Lawrence. You know, this that's Sam the Man. gonna be the base of this team. But the Giants really have to. I think the four three does work better for this team, and especially if you can make Ryan Conley that that middle linebacker. I think that'd be awesome. You know. Even in free agency, there's a couple guys you can look at at the outside linebacker positions. But uh, it's all about, you know, the coaching. Too. The coaching for this defense has not been good. Betcher has not been doing a great job. Now, one thing I can say, uh, DeAndre Baker, over these last two games, he has been playing pretty decent. Yeah, he has. He, has, he, has he stepped up his game. He had, I think, it was either four or five pass deflections this game. He really did. He stepped up his game. And yeah. I'm really liking him. Yeah, he's playing better. Now, we know Philly had receivers dropping like flies. I mean, Alshon Jeffries and they was missing uh, the, uh, the uh, Nelson Aguilar. And, and then J.J. our second white side. Right, 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 right. As you know, Deshaun Jackson's out for the year. So, those guys weren't there. Plus, they didn't have Derek Barnett on defense. So those are some of those key players for the Philadelphia Eagles were out. But um, we had a lead. We needed to build on that lead, yeah. which we did. You know, we you know we just couldn't get it get it going in the second half like we did in the first half. And as you can see, the result ended up in a loss. So it's another loss for Pat Shermer and uh, Dave Gettleman. Another uh, loss for John Marrer and Steve Tisch and things that they're going to have to think about as they go into the offseason. And for Eli... Uh, he came into this game with a 500 record. Now he's going to be uh, below 500. So he'll be with guys like George Blanda, who's in the Hall of Fame, Sonny Jorgensen, and Joe Namath. Uh, great quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame who all have uh, below 500 records. Yeah. So Eli's with them now. Yeah, Eli is definitely a Hall of Famer. Definitely, you know. As much as uh, people want to hate, get in. yeah, yeah. As much as people want to hate, man, two Super Bowls. I, I do. I give up anything for my quarterback to give me two Super Bowls. Anything, you know. And also, my bold prediction: Darius Slayton over 150 yards. It happened. Five catches, 150, 154 yards. But that's gonna wrap it up, Giants fans. Next week we got the Dolphins. We'll have a pregame video out really, uh, really soon. Yeah, we'll have more things to talk about. There's going to be yeah. a lot of reaction from this game, uh, from fans, from the media. Uh, once you, you know, again, there'll be a tons of pressure on Pat Shermer because mm -hmm. he's uh, fighting for his job, which I think he probably won't have going into next year because, uh, like Steve Tish said, he has to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with John Mara about the direction of their team. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we, we'll get more information mm -hmm. out to you. Uh, we got a lot of a lot more things to talk about. We got to you know break down this game, look at some game film and stuff, and uh, and uh, talk about the uh, upcoming game with the uh, Miami Dolphins, which it's not going to be an easy game because uh, Ryan Tannehill, no, not Ryan Tannehill, Ryan Fitzpatrick again was slinging that ball around against the Jets. Yeah, so we're you're going to well, see, you yeah, know, like the Giants, you know, they got. Uh, a couple games that they could win. These next two games are winnable games. But, you know, Dolphins are not going to give up. They're not going to no, no pull around. Yet. They're going to come ready to play. Redskins so have been Dwayne playing Haskins. decent. They're going to come ready to play. And then you got the Eagles last game. You know, you have you have to win games. You know, you can't win it. Losing is not, especially with this organization. It's a great organization, you know, well-respected around the league. You can't be – this is not acceptable. And this also, I, I believe Dave Gettleman and Pat Scherner broke the record for the most losses in a row for the Giants. So this has to be fixed. Giants Going back fans. to the days in the uh, early 70s, late 70s, mm -hmm. and then the early 80s until George Young came in and took over when the NFL 
told Will and Tamara, uh, you've been losing so much. And then uh, uh, Pete Rose on the NFL came in and they, that's when the Giants hired uh, George Young and that, that took over and helped them build these Super Bowl teams once Ray, you know, Ray Perkins left and then uh, Bill Parcells was hired. So um, we're, not, we're not there because we're coming off two Super Bowls from 2007 and 2011, but the last six or seven years haven't been good other than that winning season. And uh, as you know, Steve Tisch is not happy and I'm quite sure John Mayer isn't either. So. Yeah, I feel like this, this loss is pretty much uh, John Mayer has pretty much had it. I think he's had it. You might I wouldn't be surprised if the Giants did something crazy and fired Pat Sherman for the season. You never know. Anything could happen. We're going to see what happens, Giants fans. You guys stay tuned. Love you guys all. Y'all have a great rest of your week. Give your go. opinions. Subscribe uh, to the webpage and uh, go Giants, okay? Have a great night.